Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we get into this, I'm going to put the comment of the day up. If you guys want to take part in that, all you have to do is leave a comment and I randomly choose one for my new notification. So today we're taking a look at a new mod. I've tried to film this quite a few times, but my mic has been messing up. So I apologize if it sounds like crap. If it sounds echoey, I'm trying my best, but my mic just doesn't like me right now. So Anyway, uh, we are taking a look at the Private Clinic Psychiatry mod, and I am super, super excited for this, as this is going to add a lot more realism to the game, and also it gives you a chance to go to work with uh, your sim. So that is what we are going to look at, and it is by this creator here that I also did the student council mod and there is going to be updates and there was an update on this post right here um, with a lot of their mods and there is a couple of updates with the private clinic and the psychiatry which I will let you guys go ahead and read because I am going to go over quite a bit today. I am going to mostly look at the documents that come with the download because it goes way more in depth and it pretty much tells you every single little thing that you need to know about this mod. So basically, if you ever wanted to help all your messed up sims in town with this mod, you can run a private clinic as a therapist. So you can now join a psychiatry career, buy a therapist couch and start treating patients for their emotional and mental maladies. Um, there's also, let's see, I'm just trying to skim over this because the documents are what I want to really look at. Uh, but basically, it's similar to what we had in TS4 Get to Work. Your sim will be able to run a clinic out of their house or from a commercial lot and treat patients for different ailments. Um, there are two features. We have medicine and drug addiction, which we will get into both of those as well in the documents. And you need the NROS career mod for this custom career or it will not work. You also need university island paradise and ambitions if you don't have any of those it is not going to work out for you there are download instructions there are two downloads so we have the psychiatry module and also the um, therapist career right here so both of those go into your mods packages file where you put all of your you know cc and mods and things of that sort so basically you're going to know when sim needs help when this is above them like when you were in the lifeguard career that means that, you know, that is one of your patients. But again, we will get into that. So I want to first look at the private clinic mod documentation, and then we will go over to the other documentation. So there are going to be more, as you can see here, there are going to be more things added to this mod. Uh, right now, it's just the psychiatry, but there are plans for these things to come uh, as well. But we have the medical license, which you have to apply for that. And in order to get your medical license, it is 500 simoleons and you need to have an, an academic degree in science and medicine. If you don't have that, you will not be able to obviously apply for a medical license. So the success of your application will be based on a few of these factors, which are meet the requirements of level seven logic, level three science and level five charisma. Going beyond this threshold will increase your chances and whether you are past five in either the medical or psychiatry career, but I'm pretty sure you don't have to be in the career in order to get that. It's just going to help you a heck of a lot. Uh, traits such as ambitious, charismatic, schmoozer, and irresistible also increase your chances of approval. These factors are all added up to a score that determines your chances of getting approved, so any combination of them can result in your acceptance. Um, you don't need to have the career, there it is, if your skills are high enough and you have some positive, positive traits. So basically, if your skills here are pretty dang high, then you'll have a pretty decent chance. But I feel like if you just are the bare minimum, you're probably not going to get approved. So either make sure these are high and you have some of these good traits or get into one of these two careers. I am excited about the psychiatry career. I'm ready for a new career in the game. So it says if it is unsuccessful, you can reapply in 24 hours. And once you are licensed, you get a prescription pad added to your inventory, which doctors can use to write prescriptions. So 
Now we're going to take a look at running a clinic and how to run a clinic. So there is a clinic controller object. There is a sign. A desk version is coming soon. Now I'm going to show you where this sign is located because I had the hardest time finding it, especially as a person who has a lot of CC. So I'm going to show you where this sign object is and also where you can find the couch because it does blend in if you are like me and have a lot of CC. So we will take a look at that when we get into the game. Um, so you can place that on a community or residential lot. You need to assign a doctor to the clinic controller and then turning it on will start pushing patients to your lot. So the default is two patients every 90 minutes with no more than four patients at a time. You can change these numbers if you have NROS Retuner. I don't have that, so I am just going to leave it be. Waiting patients will have the orange and white lifeguard sign blinking over their head, which will disappear once they have been treated, which I showed you guys on the Tumblr post. So turning that off will remove any waiting patients and stop pushing patients to your lot. You will get a rundown of how many patients you treated that day. So on the controller, you are welcome to treat any patients on the law that have money. What the controller does is just bring patients to you that have issues. They will only push sims that are not on the lot and need to be or can be treated to your clinic. So if no patients are coming, it's either because there is no one that meets the criteria or there are sims that are already on the lot or indisposed or at work, school, sleeping, etc. So the criteria is based on the type of clinic you have. At that moment, there is only one type, which is the psychiatry. So it will only push sims that have certain buffs such as heartbroken, mourning, stressed, upset, etc. If your doctor is not on the clinic lot, the controller will push them to go to that lot. Patients will not start showing up un until the assigned doctor is on the lot. If the doctor is reset, the controller will automatically be turned off. So now there are seven types of medications in this mod. Six of them are over the counter and one of them is a prescription medication. They can be found at the pharmacy located at the grocery or hospital. Over the counter medication can be found in the home section of the grocery store or in the buy catalog or my private cl collection folder, clinic collection folder. Now, one thing about this, I didn't have a private clinic collection folder. I looked in the buy catalog, but it was, I didn't have a folder specific to that. So I had to search things out, but that was totally fine because I did find them. It just took me a hot minute. Uh, so we have the first one, which is 50 simoleons. It's a basic cold medicine. 50 simoleons for the other one. It relieves your sim of nausea. 100 simoleons for prenatal vitamins for pregnant sims. And then we have an antihistamine for sims with allergies. Allergies, 100 simoleons. 120 simoleons for a pain reliever medicine. So hurt foot, hurt hand, sore, toothache, backache, mugged. Then we have a topical cream that can be used to treat mosquito bites, sunburns, bee stings, and that is a, can be applied every six hours for 75 simoleons. Then we also have an anti-anxiety medicine that your Sims can buy at the grocery store pharmacy with a prescription from a doctor. So this is the one right here that has to be prescribed from, from the doctor. There are 10 pills in a pack and taking it too often without any stress, anxiety, or disorders can lead to an addiction, which is going to be the next thing we're gonna talk about. So, oh, and there's also a medicine cabinet where you can store your Sims medicine, which that's one thing that I forgot to actually look at. So we will try to find that one together, uh, but there will be a cabinet so you don't have to have it in your Sims inventory, which is quite nice. So now there is also drug abuse, addiction, and rehab. I love this because this is super realistic. This would be very good for storytelling. So basically taking a prescription medication when not needed or beyond the recommended dosage will lead to Sims getting a euphoric high, which maxes out their mood for a limited time. Teen, teens are, um, teens that are high, if caught by an adult, will get in trouble. There is also an overuse of pills and they can lead to an addiction. And if they get addicted, they will get a 24 hour need fix moodlet that will tank their mood till they take another pill. If the need fix moodlet times out and your sim will go into a 48 hour withdrawal, which is even worse and has symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, itchiness, and stress. At this stage, your sim has three options to either write it out and get clean the hard way and give into temptation and go back to the pills to make the pain go away or go to rehab. Rehab is a 16 hour stay at the hospital rabbit hole and costs 2,500 simoleons. So it is not a viable option for everyone. So basically if your sim doesn't have the money, you're going to have to kind of write it out or give into temptation and just keep going with it. Uh, so at the facility, all your needs are taken care of and your sim can focus on getting clean, taking a new object or taking up a new hobby like art, music, or yoga. And they can also do group therapy sessions. 
freaking love that. I freaking love that. The storytelling for this is going to be absolutely incredible. Um, after a successful stay at rehab, your sim will get a sober survivor permanent moolet. This moolet will remain unless your sim takes prescription pills again, even if responsibly. Uh, if your sim takes the over-the-counter medicine, they will get a drug temptation buff that has the chance to re-trigger their addition or addiction if um, on timeout. Going be back to rehab or talking with the therapist will remove the buff. If your sim cannot stay clean, excessive use of pills can lead to an overdose. And if your sim overdoses, they will collapse. And any sim who, who is in medical firefighter or lifeguarding career or is a licensed doctor and has a medical degree, they will be pushed to give CPR to save your sim's life. If there is none of these people on the lot and there is no one around and you're just by yourself, your sim will die. So just keep that in mind. It takes one sim hour or they will die. Um, so that is, that is a thing. And you can also now take CPR classes at the hospital for 150 simoleons, which is so nice. We have a cost and payment. It kind of goes over the um, insurance issues here. Like if you have insurance, then you're going to be paying 50% less um the doctors will be getting paid the regular amount but you're only paying 50 percent of that um let me see i think that's all i wanted to go over with this section of it and as you can see like i said there's going to be more updates there are future updates so i'm going to keep an eye on that to make sure that i can um you know get the latest updates so the next part of this is the private clinic and the therapist couch. So in order to work as a psychiatrist therapist, you need the couch object, which allows you to hold your sessions. You do not need to join the psychiatry career, but being in that career will allow extra features. The career is available at the hospital and it works like a basic 10 level rabbit hole career with plenty of time off once you get past level five to treat your patients. Um, if you use the clinic controller, then your therapist will get to work, uh, get a work performance increase 10 points for each patient treated. So you could theoretically just not go to work and treat patients all day and you would still be able to advance in your psychiatry career. Sims that get to level six of this career can access patient files on the computer where you can read information about your patients and it will help build logic. And at level nine of the career, you can write self-help books. And then if other Sims read, if other Sims read self-help books, it can sometimes be just as effective as a therapy session and even provide similar, similar benefits as therapy. So running your clinic to run your office, you need a therapist couch and a living chair. Ideally, I would suggest having a waiting area outside your office where patients can mill around. So basically, if you're going to like make this like a, a thing, just make it like a literal office where there's, you know, a waiting area and then there's also the like therapist area so that it can be separated by a door and you won't have Sims kind of going all around and, and doing crazy things. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to literally be running it out of my own house and we're gonna see how that goes. Uh, the therapist couch is a basic love seat. It just allows your Sims to hold a therapy session. Once it is purchased and placed on the lot, you need a living chair within five Sim meters on the couch. So, or in front of the couch. So I don't know what five Sim meters is and I didn't get to the gameplay section because my mic was messed up. So we will figure that out when we get there. Um, and let's see that obviously you can, you know, set your office however you want it, decorate it how you want to. Uh, you click on the couch and set yourself or any licensed doctor as the owner. Psych evals allow your therapist to learn traits about your patients and cost 75 simoleons. Counseling sessions will help your therapist understand the patient's mood and issues. Uh, both sims will need to have a su sufficient fund, so you must have money, obviously, to be able to do these things. And once you start a counseling session, you can click on the couch to ask questions to the patient to unearth whatever issue they have. Um, discussing these issues will lower the negative mood value. Sessions start um, out at a base of 40 per session and are increased based on the skills of your therapist, uh, logic, science, and charisma. And let's see, patients will also get a varying, get varying buffs after the session based on the quality of the therapist and also just out of random randomness. If there is a therapist and couch on your lot, your sim as a patient can request 
an evaluation or a counseling session as well. So there are benefits of therapy. After four sessions, patients will learn coping mechanisms, three of them, take deep breaths, pa uh, practice mindfulness, and do self-affirmations in the mirror. After eight sessions, patients will be able to change their personality traits. And after they read six self-help books, they can learn coping mechanisms. And after 10, they will be able to change, change traits. Patients will, with deep-seated issues may need more sessions and therapists can prescribe medication for them. They can also ask a therapist for a prescription but may get rejected if they don't know them well enough. If you have a prescription, you can go to the local pharmacy at the grocery store and purchase anti-anxiety medicine. If your SIM is desperate enough and you see a prescription pad lying around, you can steal the prescription. Interesting. Okay. I've also had a depression like order disorder, not myself. The Sims can get after a traumatic event, basically death, divorce, getting pregnant, etc. It doesn't happen for everyone, but it's more likely to happen to your Sim if they're in a bad mood, neurotic, over emotional, or is pregnant. Sims with this buff will experience mood moodiness, forgetfulness, or low moods and can get a prescription from the therapist with the help to help with the symptoms until it passes. And you can reassign the therapist for the couch and add, um, I added a debug cheat to clear the couch data. So there is that. And then it says not needed, but recommended is the NROS go here to have more door locking options. I don't have that, but it is useful in holding sessions or treating patients and keeping the other Sims, I guess, out of, out of that space. So that's kind of what we have going on here. I'm going to have this linked down below and I'm sorry if this is a super long video, but I wanted to make sure I went over everything in depth because this person I'm telling you right now with these documents is like a Virgo dream because they have everything just like right there. It's all a list. We love it. We love it. Uh, so I will have this linked in the description down below if you guys are interested. And if you have any questions, also leave me some comments down below. I am going to get into the gameplay part of it, which is the part that I have not done yet. So we will be doing this together and taking a look at the gameplay section of it. So let's hop into the game and see right, how this works. So we are in game and we are going to take a look at this mod. So I basically had my sim. I cheated a degree so that we didn't have to go to university or anything. So she is a B in science and medicine and I also cheated her skills to seven for logic, three for science, and five for charisma. I wanted to do the bare minimum requirement just to see how easy it will be to apply for um, the, the license. So this is the couch right here and it is in, now I, I said there was a collection. I went through this whole thing. There is no collection here for for this. So it's kind of hard to find some of the stuff, but I did end up finding the sofa. It is, you know, if you have a lot of CC, it's, you can, you can change it here and go just to custom content, which really does help. Um, let me see, here it is right here. This is the therapist couch, which is the one I have already. And then for your sign, it is in wall decorations. I went ahead and filtered it to custom content as well. And it is right here. Clinic sign, clinic controller object placed on a clinic lot to bring patients to your clinic. So I am just going to, I guess, place that right, right there. Um, but we need to get our medical license before we can do anything. So I think I want to come over here and before we join the psychiatry career, because I do want to do that as well, I want to see what happens if we apply for the medical license without being in the career to see if we get approved. Also, you can go to rehab if your SIM is obviously in need. And then the pharmacy, you have the anti-anxiety medicine. So first thing I'm going to do is have her apply for the... Um, the license without being in the career, see if we get it. And if we don't, I will join the career and see if we get it then. Applying for this actually goes by pretty quick. She's almost done. And it looks like we did not get it. The Sim Nation Medical Review Board regrets to inform that your application has been rejected at this time due to concerns about your level of experience and or skills. We wish you luck in your future applications. So we did not get it and we got this little moodlet here. Some Sims just hate when they blow a chance to impress others. So I'm going to have her go ahead and join the psychiatry career because I do want to, 
you know, take a look at the different levels here. But yeah, we have to wait 24 hours before we can, you know, reapply. So let's see what happens. So we have medical intern, psychiatry, 18 simoleons per hour, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. So psychiatry is a branch of medicine focused on mental, emotional, and behavioral disorders. Handling complex mental health conditions can be a daunting but rewarding profession. So we're going to accept this because I feel like this is definitely something really needed in the game. Okay, like everybody has mental health issues. And honestly, I feel like this is just going to add quite a bit of realism. So for now, I am going to have her go home and we are going to go to our first day of work. And when we are able to reapply for the medical license, I will pick up then. I will also show you what options we have when we go to work, you know, when we get to work, if we meet coworkers and such. And then I will go through each level of the psychiatry career just to kind of see the names of them and how much money we're making and things of that sort. But here we go. We're going to go back home and we will pick up tomorrow. She's heading off to her first day of work. And as you guys can tell, we have the business as usual, work hard, browse social media, meet fellow psychiatrists, and also chat with fellow psychiatrists. So there's that. And I also forgot to show you her traits. I did give her ambitious and then I gave her green thumb, bookworm, perfectionist, and all of that because I thought I was going to have to send her to university in order to do this. And I forgot that I have Enros and I can cheat it. But anyway, she does have the ambitious trait. So we'll see if that helps her. Um, but she's going to go to her first day of work. And I think we're going to meet our fellow psychiatrist. Our boss is actually Dustin Landgrax. So there's that. But we're going to see how her first day goes. She is currently working through her first day. And we met two people. But what is interesting is it says that they're both medical interns. But it doesn't have the little thing below to indicate that they are co-workers, but it does say that is their career. So I found that to be quite interesting, but we're just about done here. We're about halfway to a promotion. We made 140 simoleons today. We're not going to go home. We are going to come over here and we're going to try again to apply for medical license and see if we need to have a promotion or if we will get it when we are just in the job, if that's gonna help us out. So we're gonna fly through this and see if she is successful in this, which I sure hope that she is. So let's see, she's just about done here applying. Alrighty, oh no, we still didn't get it. So I guess we're gonna have to improve our work you know, level. So we're going to have to wait again another 24 hours. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and cheat her level. So I think it's an intermediate career. We're going to go to level and we're going to go with level two. Where is it? Where is it? Where's level? Wait, one. We're a medical intern. Where's two? Oh, literally right here. Okay. Wow. So <laughs> For that, we need logic and science first year resident, and we would need one, two, three, four, five logic and two science, and you guys can read all of this here. So we're level two, and I can't decide if I want to go to level two and then try again tomorrow. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try again tomorrow after level two, and if we don't get it, then I'm going to just go over all of the different... Um, you know, levels and things and see what they have to say. So for her second day of work, we were super close to getting a, um, a promotion, which was pretty shocking. This is also her outfit for her second day of work as a first year resident. Basically it says being an intern was never glamorous work, but the title of resident proves your dedication was appreciated all along. Use this time to hone your skills and build your specialty. So in 50 minutes, we can go reapply. So I don't want her to go home. I want her to actually come over here and we're just going to wait a minute until we can go apply again. Unfortunately, we were rejected yet again for our application. So that is totally fine. I am, however, going to cheat her um, job level because I want to see what each level, you know, has for us. So career, let's go to level and we're going to go to level three, second year resident. 
and we will be making 33 simoleons per hour. So it says we got a bonus of 252 simoleons. You've made it to your second year of residency. Continue to build your skills. You'll need it if you plan on getting a license of your own practice. Okay, nine to five, 33 simoleons per hour. Let's check level four as well. I just wanna go through because I love to see what each level has to offer and kind of show you guys. Uh, so level four is a third year resident. So now we're making 45 simoleons per hour. And as you can see, we're gonna need some more science. So a 396 simoleon bonus, almost at the finish line to getting to be a real doctor. Pay attention to the other psychiatrists and study the latest research on psychotherapy trends and practices. Now working 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. So a longer day, as you guys can tell skills that we need you guys can see that here let's go ahead and go to level five here career level level five and we're gonna go to fourth year resident and as you can see we're gonna need to really be working on these skills uh 9 a.m to 7 p.m 89 simoleons per hour 540 simoleons for a bonus at times, it feels like the drudgery of being a resident would never end, but you've made it to the end. The days of specialized medicine aren't too far ahead, so enjoy the last day's general practice while it lasts. So let's take it up and see here. So we're gonna have to really, logic, we're gonna have to really probably max out. Science is a big one as well. Charisma, we have been okay at level five, but science and logic so far seem to be the biggest part of it. Okay, so let's go to level, ooh, not household, intermediate, and then we're going to go to career, and then we're going to go to level six. We're six. Psychiatric specialist. So now we're, we're, ooh, 280 simoleons per hour, nine to four, Monday through Friday. Only charisma at this point. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, a bonus of 1,068 simoleons. As a full-fledged psychiatrist, now is the time to get patient experience. Put down the books and work hard on your interpersonal skills and couchside manner. A friendly therapist is a lucrative therapist. Since at this level of the psychiatry career can review patient files on the computer. 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday as well, okay? Number seven, let's move on to level freaking seven and see what this has to offer us. Okay, level seven up here. Assistant professor of clinical psychiatry. Ooh, we're gonna need writing. We don't have any writing. 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. We don't have any sort of writing skills, so I'm gonna have to maybe cheat that so we can see what level we're gonna need for that. Um, okay, 3,360 simoleons as a bonus. Academia and medicine go hand in hand. You would know you have the med school debt to, debt to prove it. However, as an assistant professor, you should be building your clinical skills and expertise. Oh, no, uh, experience. <laughs> That's the word. With patients while also improving your knowledge of the latest psychological interventions. In interventions. Okay, well, let's go ahead and give her a writing skill. So I went quick. ahead and gave her three and that was exactly what we needed at this level, which is pretty funny, but there you go. We are good to go. So now we're going to move on to level eight of her career and see what we need for that one. Okay. Level, level eight. Clinical professor of psychiatry, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., 418 simoleons per hour, Science and logic. Okay, so logic, science, big time. Uh, 4,440 simoleons as a bonus. You've made it to a full-time faculty member in the Department of Psychiatry and the Behavioral Sciences at Sims University. Honing your medical skills will be more important than ever to assist in your evaluations, assessments, and treatment plans. 8 a.m. to 1, like I said, 418 simoleons per hour. Only two more levels to look at. So let's go ahead and do that. Career, level, and level nine. So we have the, let's see, psychiatric medical director, 650 simoleons per hour, 
9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and this is where we have a lot of days off. So we'll have Wednesday, obviously Thursday as it is the holiday, Saturday, Sunday, charisma, writing, logic. Logic has to be maxed out. Writing we need to be at level five. And so far charisma, we're okay. So we get a 5,016 simoleon bonus. You are responsible for the oversight of all psyche psychiatry providers for services to adults, children, and adolescents, and have supervisory responsibility for the other psychiatric providers. Occasionally, you'll have to deal with the hospital medical board to keep, so keep working on that charm. So basically, keep working on that dang charisma. And at this level, we can now write self-help books, which is really, really cool. All right, one more, one more level to go. And then we're gonna get that, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we're gonna get that medical license at a level 10. I mean, that would be pretty sad if not. So we are chief of psychiatry, logic, writing, and charisma, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And again, we have the same days off. So logic, we need to be maxed out. Charisma, we need to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and writing five. So we should be pretty good. 820 simoleons per hour, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. A bonus of 7,800 simoleons. As chief of psychiatry for the hospital, you are the top of your field. Use this time to nurture young doctors coming in the ranks up and in the ranks and just bask in the glow of your supremacy so level 10 we obviously still have to wait 24 hours in order to do so um and we don't have the the pad yet because we haven't gotten our license but we're gonna wait 24 hours reapply and hope that we are gonna get it now since we're a level 10 hello so for the sake of this video i did go ahead and delete the moodlet that we needed 24 hours and look at her in her fancy pink pink limo going over here to apply for a medical license and hopefully this time around we do achieve that goal Let's go ahead and speed through it and see if we are approved, which I really hope that we are, so that I can take a look at the other part of this mod. So fingers crossed, otherwise I will also cheat some skills. Oh my goodness, we still did not get it. I am gonna have to cheat her skills. Okay, so I went ahead and cheated her skill points for what she needs at the level she is in her job. Because I'm assuming that's probably going to be the best thing is to make sure that we have the skills to go along with the level that we are in. And we're going to try again because, again, I cheated and went ahead and got rid of that moodlet so that we can try again to hopefully, <laughs> hopefully get our medical license. Otherwise, I don't know what else to do other than change her traits. So let's this time we were approved okay so basically we're gonna need our like skills to match the level of which we are in our job uh so the sim nation medical review board is pleased to approve your application for a medical license there are a lot of sims in need so we hope you can do some good so we should have the prescription pad there it is so set owner we are the owner yeah, write prescription for, so we can write a prescription for anybody. We're gonna head home real quick and I am gonna see if we can help some Sims out. We have to obviously open up our clinic and set the therapist couch as Okay, ours. so first things first, we have the sign out here. We can assign doctor, which is obviously going to be Olivia. Then we can open up our clinic. So we can close clinic or reassign doctor, which we are obviously not gonna do. And then why can't I click? on this though the clinic is now open dr humphreys better head over to okay we're we're there but why can't i click on this to set the couch as ours okay let me try again maybe we need to purchase it when we are like an actual doctor and have a medical license do you see how i can never find things it's because I have too much stuff. Here it is. Let's just go ahead and place down that one. Maybe I have it too... Let me just get rid of this. Maybe that's in the way. Let me go ahead and get rid of that. And we still can't click on... There we go. Set owner is obviously Olivia, I think, right? Yeah. Therapist. So we can offer... Wait, what? You can't come in? Or is the door locked? 
I mean, you can come in. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe you can't. Okay, so Sims are coming over here. Um, okay, let's go ahead and invite everyone in. Maybe this would be best to do on like a commercial lot and not a residential lot, but let's go ahead and invite everybody in and then see if that will kind of do what we need to do. Okay, so Judy Bunch is here. We can prescribe medication. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and offer relationship counseling, counseling, or psychiatric evaluation. Let's go with, um, let's just go this way. We're going to start with counseling and we're going to offer counseling to Judy Bunch and see if she comes over here. And I hope that this chair is, okay, it looks like it is exactly where it needs to be, which I hope. Okay, so let's see kind of, okay, she's got her little pad out here writing down and let's see, Judy, what are you telling me? Are you telling me anything important? I'm not sure. Uh, here's Pauline back here just playing guitar so I can see why we might need to, you know, have a separate area. Um, there are no thought bubbles appearing for Judy to kind of see what her issue is, but we're just gonna keep going. We're gonna just keep seeing. Pauline is not listening to me a bit, but okay. Let's see kind of what happens here. Okay, so we made 440 simoleons for that. And also I did notice there is no, um, that little thing for when you have a lifeguard, when you're a lifeguard and you have to save Sims. So I'm just noticing that's not there. Uh, thanks for the great chat doc. It feels good to unburden myself with everything going on up there. Uh, so we learned that we are compatible, that she graduated from Fort Starch Military School. She is in the career of scientific research and that she's in a relationship with Jack. Okay, let me see if we can offer a psychiatric evaluation to her and see how that goes. Maybe we need to do this during the day, but for a moment, uh, oh, you're leaving? Okay, maybe we can offer it to Pauline. Simis is here, but let's go ahead and see if we can offer an evaluation to Pauline Wan and see how that goes. But for some reason, I don't know if the residential lot might be... Wait, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, oh, okay. We're doing this. We're over here. We're doing an ink blot test. No, wait, is that what we're supposed to be doing? I thought I was offering her a psychiatric evaluation, but apparently we're doing an ink blot test. I don't know if that was supposed to happen. I guess it was because we just made 150 simoleons and we learned some traits. Loves the outdoors, commitment issues, ambitious, party animal. So talk about shared traits. All right, let me see what else we can do here. I'm gonna also do this during the day tomorrow, but I am just super curious as to, there's not much anymore. Okay, so what else can we do? Offer relationship counseling to her and see how that goes. So Pauline Wan is just doing her thing um, over here, ignoring us basically. We're offering some relationship counseling to her. She's not telling us anything, but we are writing it down anyways. Uh, and I'm also gonna see, it says we can write a prescription for her. I just wanna see if there's an actual prescription. After that great session, I feel closer to you than ever and know we can get through anything. Okay, well, we, we are getting job performance stuff here. Okay, I just wanna see, oh, 715 simoleons. We learned her school, her employment, and her relationship with Hank. Okay, she's a Pisces. We've apparently learned that as well, but I wanna see what happens if we write her a prescription. Like, do we know what the problem is here? Cause I was not getting any thought bubbles in order to know what what is going on with her. But did we just, what did we just give her? <laughs> what did we just, I feel like that was illegal. I'm prescribing you something that may help, but remember the drugs are only one part of addressing your health. 
Please schedule an appointment with me as soon as possible. So, what did we... What did we prescribe her? I thought it was going to, like, give me an option. But, no, we just straight up prescribed her something. So, okay. Well, I am going to close clinic for now. We're going to close the clinic for now. Uh, another day of making sure every sim around town has access to the health care they need. The clinic is now closed. Dr. Humphreys treated three patients today. So there's that. So even though I did close up the clinic for the night, we have sims hanging out out here uh, and none of them have that, you know, situation going on. So I don't know why they are not having that like orange and white lifeguard thing happening, but uh, they are still here even though, like I said, the clinic is closed. I can show you that it's, we need to open it again. So I don't know why they're still here. You'd think they'd go home, but, but they're not. So I went ahead and I had the door, I just took the door off to see if the Sims would come in and see what happened and there is this popping up over their heads and it says to invite inside now i don't know if this is because i am on a residential lot but they are getting something so obviously they need help and they're just like sitting in the waiting area and my sim is over here <laughs> taking a bath but let's go ahead and get her out of here and see if we can maybe do something about this I feel like I should have this on a commercial lot and not a residential lot but we're going to see what happens if we come over here and invite her inside because they're, they're clearly like waiting so there's something above their heads now so I feel like maybe I need to get that door locking situation and also figure this out a bit better. I mean, she's already inside, so maybe that is the problem. Um, invite everyone inside. Can we invite everyone in? They're already here, but I think, I think they're already inside, so inviting them in. Uh, ooh, I don't appreciate being kept waiting this long. I thought you ran a professional establishment. Okay, so that is something new. We have that. Okay, he's mad as well. Let's go ahead and see. Everybody is inside. So I think the best thing to do is maybe have like that door locking situation. Okay, let's see if it needs... I wish that we knew what exactly they need. I am noticing an incredible amount of lag, which was not here before I started this. So I really feel like I need to make this on a commercial lot, but we're just doing this for the sake of this video. What is she doing? She's, oh, she's complimenting us. No, how about we um, just offer counseling to, to Dory? I thought there was supposed to be like speech bubbles, thought bubbles that were supposed to kind of help us out, but this might be my fault because I have it on a home lot, but you can do this from a home lot, so maybe I'm just missing something here. But anyway, we're going to sit down and offer her some counseling and see how that goes. Really, Oh, see, yeah, we need to have that door closed because bro is just coming in the house and he's like, let me just throw a newspaper right here. Okay, wait a minute. Now that I've closed this door up and everything and the paper boy is stuck in here, I'm so sorry. We can now ask about mood, love life, family, career, insecurities, school, and mental health. So let's go ahead and ask her about her mental health. Now we're getting the speech bubbles. So I think that what is going on is I don't have things properly set up and bro was like you just close the door on me i'm so sorry okay let's see here if she tells us what is going on with her mental health Alrighty, she's talking but no bubbles are appearing so i don't for sure know um let's ask about her mood maybe okay so we're asking about her mood and again, no thought bubbles, I don't think. Nothing over her yet, at least. Okay, she's like, meh, it's, it's fine, no big deal. Let's ask about her insecurities, maybe? Is a ghost an insecurity, apparently? 
Okay, so we didn't get anything from that. Let's ask her about her family. Crying kids? Do you have any crying kids? She's like, I don't know. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Okay, so we asked her a few things and she said that was a heavy session. I still have a lot to work through, I guess. So can we do anything else? I mean, I guess we can prescribe or something. I don't know. Let's, Dory, do you need a prescription? Okay, so I love this mod, but either I am doing something wrong or, okay, you seem like an okay gal, um, or or something is a little off because I feel like there should be speech bubbles, thought bubbles above her head as well so that we know kind of what her responses are. Okay, she seems, yeah, I guess that was a, a good session. I am going to prescribe her medicine and I probably shouldn't because I have no idea what in the world I am prescribing her, but we're just going to roll with it and hope, hope for the best, but I'm gonna get ready to wrap it up. Okay, we prescribed or something, girl. I don't know what we did, but just don't go overboard, okay? I am prescribing you something that may help, but remember that drugs are the only part of it, one part of dressing, addressing it, okay. So we had a heavy session. I, let me, you know what? Let me try one more time. Let's go ahead and offer psychiatric evaluation to Simis Bachelor. And I guess she's leaving. She got what she needed from us. So let's go ahead and ask Simis Bachelor to come over here. And oh my God, Mortimer Goth, what do you need? Oh my gosh, is this child in need of, oh my gosh, I wanna help him, hold on. Simis, the lag, you guys can see. And I don't know why it is all of a sudden super laggy. Okay, so we're going to offer counseling to Mortimer Goth, and honestly, I absolutely love that children can also have some counseling, but this lag, it has to be with the mod because there's nothing else that I have put in my game that has caused this type of issue, so I don't know that I can really deal with that, but we're just going to continue on because I want to see what else we can do. So let's ask about school. Let's ask him about school and how things are going because honestly, this breaks my heart that this poor little guy, he just needs, he needs someone to talk to. So we're going to see if we can help him. It looked like school was kind of like meh. Let's ask about mental health and see kind of his reaction for that. I guess he's fine with that. I'm not sure. Insecurities. Oh God, why are you thinking about death? Girl, I think you need to kind of slow your roll here. We're going to ask you about mood. We're going to ask you about family. He should not have a love life, but who knows? We're asking about family. We made 4,100 simoleons for our personal time So off. we're still kind of chatting with him. We're going to ask him every single one of them, his career, and also his love life just to kind of see, even though obviously a child should not have a love life, but we're just asking all of the questions to see. He's like, I don't have a career. Now we have a thought bubble. Okay. The other ones were not telling me anything, but he said, I don't have a career girl. I don't know why you asking me. Okay. Let's ask about school again, because that seemed to kind of be like a not so sure situation. Okay, so he's he's sitting back. Let's see, can we do anything? We're just gonna chat with him. Uh, that was a heavy session. I still have a lot to work through, I guess. So we learned he's an Aquarius and okay, we made 440 simoleons. He obviously hasn't graduated because he's a child. So I guess there's not much else we can do other than maybe offer a psychiatric evaluation. Oh, we can't even do that to him. We can only do counseling. Okay. So I went ahead and closed down the clinic to see if the Sims will leave another day, making sure every Sim around town has access to the healthcare they need. The clinic is now closed. Dr. Humphrey's treated to patients today. So we do have that. She is exhausted from all of that. We still have some Sims here, but as you can see, there are still Sims showing up. And I still, the lag is just like incredibly irritating, but I so, so hope that the future of this mod 
Like, I cannot wait to see the future of it. I just hope that this mod is not going to be causing me lag because honestly, that would really not be fun. And also these Sims haven't left. He hasn't left. Sims keep showing up even though I closed the clinic. Maybe that is because I need to like delete the couch. I don't know. No idea. But we are just going to end it off here. And the career is super fun. I love the fact that we have a new career in the game. And I feel like this mod is going to have so much for reeking potential, like I said. And I can't wait to see the other additions to it. The optometry one is actually one that sounds a lot of fun to me. But anyways, let me know if you guys have downloaded this or have it in your game and how you feel about it. If you plan on downloading it and testing it out in your game, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to leave a like on the video as it does help out the channel. It helps push out my videos and my channel. Subscribe if you would like to, turn on your post notifications, all of that fun stuff. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.